Hello, my name is Jody Robson, and I'd like to welcome you into my kitchen today to make with me a zucchini quiche. Now, zucchini is a vegetable that is very near and dear to my heart. We plant it every single year, and every single year we get a bumper crop. At least we've been lucky so far in the past few years. Um, so for this recipe, you're going to need the canola oil pastry that we made in a previous video. So we'll either link it to this to the comment section of this video, or you can search in the search bar above canola oil pastry, and uh, you'll get the video for that. It's a very simple, very easy pastry to make, and it's absolutely wonderful in this recipe. So um, we will also need two tablespoons of canola oil just by itself, and we're going to use that to saute the onion and the zucchini. So I'm going to put this away because I just finished rolling out the pie crust and setting it aside into the fridge. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and set your rack just below the middle. For this recipe, you will need one batch canola oil pastry, three cups of zucchini, one medium sweet onion, two cups of shredded medium cheddar, three large eggs, two tablespoons of canola oil, one teaspoon dried parsley, half a teaspoon each, red pepper flakes, oregano, garlic powder, and basil, salt and pepper to your taste, and one tablespoon of prepared yellow mustard. Okay, so over here, I have pre-sliced using a mandolin. You could also use a knife, just slice very, very thin. Uh, your zucchini. I'm not going to salt and, and squeeze this because we're going to saute and then let uh, drain onto a paper towel after. So I have about three cups of thinly sliced zucchini and um, one medium sweet onion. So I'm going to go ahead and start the pan. On a medium high heat, we're going to preheat the pan and then we're going to go ahead and add the canola oil in and then begin sauteing. We'll do this in two batches because I do have a smaller pan with me today. All right, so I have my pan nice and hot. You can see it's a little bit smoky. It's the cast iron does that periodically. I'm gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of our oil. I'm just gonna give it a little swirl. Just nicely coat the bottom of the pan. And then I'm gonna add in my half of my onion and half of my zucchini. So you're just going to saute this for uh, a few moments, a few minutes, till the, the zucchini starts to lose a lot of the moisture and the onions become translucent and soft. And we're going to drain it on a paper towel. So I'm going to do this in two batches until I have it all ready. All right. So now that we're done sauteing all our zucchini, and you'll note that it's very, very um, translucent and it's blocky now, so it's cooked perfectly. We're just gonna set the zucchini onto some paper towels to drain and to cool down a bit because we don't want it to start cooking the eggs before we, we get them in the oven. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna begin prepping the, the egg mixture. So in a clean bowl, a fairly large bowl, I'm gonna whisk three eggs and these are large eggs. You can use extra large, but I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than a large. Um, I, we're working with three cups of zucchini, so anything less I don't think would coat it properly. So I got three eggs into the bowl. It's actually gonna just toss those in there. Now I'm just gonna whisk my eggs nice and smooth. Some z some Quiche uses a touch of cream. This one does not. Um, there is a fair bit of moisture still in the, the vegetables after they've been sauteed. So once the eggs are nice and whisked and smooth, go ahead and add in all your spices. I'm just gonna plop them all in there and just continue whisking. Just continue whisking. Okay, and once it's all nice and smooth and it's come together, you're going to fold in your cheese and then fold in your zucchini as well. So I'm just going to set these aside. And I've got the cheese right here. I have two cups of shredded medium cheddar. Just give that a quick little turn. I'm 
and then I'm going to fold in the zucchini. Just give that a slight turn again. So it is a very dense and vegetable heavy uh, quiche and that's exactly how I want it to be. Now I have the prepared pie crust that I've already rolled out and, and put into the pan. Now before I fill this uh, with the, the quiche mixture, I'm going to go ahead and brush the surface of the, the inside of the pie crust with some yellow mustard, just prepared mustard. You can mix this up and try a Dijon mustard if you want, but I find that the tang in uh, just a, a regular yellow works best. But it's a preference thing. If you like Dijon, use Dijon. If you like grainy, use grainy. All right. Now we're just going to pour the, uh, the filling right into our prepared canola pastry crust. Okay, and then just use the back of your spoon or spatula to spread it out a bit. And you're going to pop this in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Keep an eye on it though, because if the edges start to brown too much, you're going to want to put a ring of foil on it and continue baking. You'll know that it is completely finished when you can insert a knife into the center and it comes out clean or the center is set. Um, and then let sit for 15 minutes to cool before you start slicing your quiche. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my oven that has been preheated to 400 and the oven rack has been set just below the middle. Okay. All right. So the quiche is out of the oven. You can see that the crust is golden and flaky looking. It's got a nice um, puffed effect to it and, and it, it's firm all the way through. So I've let this sit on the counter for um, well, on this, uh, this counter for about 15 minutes just to cool it down a bit before I slice it. And I'm going to serve it with a, a side salad. I know it's a vegetable heavy meal. Perfect. There we go. So it does make a very nice, healthy um, lunch or, or dinner even. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Um, happy baking. <laughs>